Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Pannika Sedulog. Let's discuss how to write lesson plan for force and pressure lesson for 8th class. Let's start. Name of the subject physics. Class 8, lesson number 8. Topic name is force and pressure. Subtopic is force due to interaction. First we have to write general objective. These are the few lines we have to mention in general objective column and next specific objective. Here we have to write the specific objectives related to the particular chapter. And next teaching points. What are the topics we are going to teach in this particular class we have to mention here. And next teaching methods. What are the methods we are using to teach the kids we have to write here. And next teaching aids so what are the things we are using to teach the lesson we have to write here those are the teaching aids and coming to the motivation first we have to give the motivation and start people teachers activity and next column is expected students activity these are the questions we have to ask before start the lesson and these are the expected answers from the students. And next, lesson development step. Here first we have to write about force. Their SA unit, CGS unit and what type of quantity it is we have to write. These are very important. Forces are due to interaction. This is the first subtopic in this chapter. And here we have to do a small activity so that they can understand how forces are existing because of interaction. Next evaluation. These are the questions we have to ask so that how much they understand from our teaching. So these are the answers. And finally conclusion. And next topic is effects of force. First one is statement of aim. Next teaching points. Next teaching aids. Next one is lesson development step. Here we have to do one activity. All CBSE activities should be demonstrated in the class. Next evaluation. And then conclusion. And next topic is types of forces. Statement of aim. Teaching points. Teaching aids. And next one is lesson development step. Here also we have to conduct a small activity. Next here I am giving a small introduction about the types of forces. Two bodies are interact then force will exert. Evaluation. These are the questions we have to ask here. And these are the answers you can expect from the students. And finally conclusion. Coming to the types of forces, statement of aim, next to teaching points and coming to teaching aids.
lesson development step first one is contact force we have to explain in this we have first one is muscular force with few examples and force of friction definition and then few day to day examples we have to give along with the diagram we can explain next force is non contact forces in this we have first one is magnetic force we can explain with the magnet and with the nail second one is gravitational force definition and along with the examples third one is electrostatic force here we conduct a small activity so that they can easily understand activity 8.7 next evaluation so these are the questions we have to ask to the students and these are the expected answers from them and finally conclusion and our next topic is pressure exerted by liquids first one is statement of aim teaching points teaching aids next lesson development step here we have to first discuss about the definition of pressure si unit dimensional formula and what type of quantity it is and along with the day to day examples and next one is pressure exerted by liquids to understand this topic we can conduct a few activities totally we have three cbse activities first one second one and third one third one is liquid exit equal pressure at the same depth these are the activities we have to show in class itself and finally evaluation these are the questions we have need to ask so that we came to know how much they understand from our teaching and these are the expected answers from them and finally conclusion and our last topic is atmospheric pressure first one is statement of aim teaching points and teaching aids lesson development step in this first we have to tell what is atmosphere and what is atmospheric pressure along with a few examples and one atmospheric pressure is equal to 10 to the power 5 pascal these are the must and should we have to tell them and coming to the evaluation these are the questions we need to ask and finally we can end with this chapter by concluding This is all about how to write a lesson plan for force and pressure. Thank you.